Hey, hey. Today, I'm going to show you a forced patina. Um, it's on this knife. It's an Antonio um, Old Bear. Got a couple clips there for a, a rifle I got. Maybe I might as well show you some of this stuff, too. This is a, um, oh, I forget the name of this, but I bought two of them, 600 Lumen, nice little Gumasigana. This guy here is pretty much my everyday carry, so I don't have to worry about smashing it up. I do have a, what do you call it for this, a, um... A snaggle tooth. Actually, this clip comes on and off, the thumb clip. Uh, I can actually use that. If I pull it out of my pocket, it'll open the blade, but it's not 100% of the time. Yeah. And my watch, and my neck knife, and my little tool from Leatherman. But this is what I wanted to show you. I patinaed this knife, oh, I would say about three years ago. Maybe, maybe almost three years. I put that nice little force patina on. I did that with uh, a, uh, I think it was mustard, this one. Yep. Yeah. And then I keep it like a drop of oil on this, which to me was a mistake. I'm going to wipe it down with a little rubbing alcohol. And uh, I would suggest if you're going to have a knife uh, like this where you never know where you're going to use it. So you might, might end up sticking it in food. You should just use a little drop of virgin oil or something like that, which it really doesn't need it. But that's the whole idea of the patina. That came out so nice. Yeah. Now I have uh, an MSK-1 that I want to throw uh, a patina on it like that. But uh, I think it has a little clear coat on it. I'm not sure. Uh my old one definitely had clear coat. You can see it with the naked eye. This one does not look like it has clear coat. Feels very porous, very dry. Uh, if that's the case, I'll give it a shot. If not, I'll just leave it till it gets beat up, and then I'll sand it down and uh, throw throw a little patina on it. Yeah. Oh. Come out nice. You can buy these in stainless steel, but they don't look right. I don't think they look right in stainless steel. I think a knife like this. Oh, that's another thing, the handle. They're very dry when you get them. I put nothing on this handle. I just rubbed the hell out of it with a cloth until the knife was almost hot. It's so smooth. and it's, I didn't want to put any oil on it. And I did a little... A little patina on the clip there, a little lock blade there. I did that with a little piece of sandpaper. I just skip at it like that until I had the look that I liked. That's that. I carry this guy every day. Stays in my little uh. Like my wife calls it, a man purse. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, that. This guy's always in my pocket. This guy's always in my pocket. This guy's always on my wrist. This guy's always on my neck. This, I don't know. I wanted it for so long. The only reason I bought it was because it, when it first came out, it was almost $300. 
and Leatherman was not selling any. Then they went down to 150 or 159. And then, of course, the Chinese started making duplicates of these, and uh, they went down. They weren't selling. But when that happened, this went down to $59. It was the last ones they had, so I bought an original. And you got to have an original because this is uh, warrantied uh, for, a, for a lifetime warranty on it. Well, not no more. Anytime uh, Leatherman has a lifetime warranty, it starts when this is out of production or when the knife is out of production. So this I bought a year ago, almost, maybe eight months. So I have another 24 years on it. And uh, all those little screws and all those little parts and links, I can get those from Leatherman. The Chinese one, you can't get those parts. So you buy it and yeah, cool. You got a duplicate and it, it's pretty cool. But uh, you're not getting parts for it. And another thing is the bits, the little uh, Allen keys and the screwdrivers, they twist. They bend out of shape with the uh, with the with the uh, imitator. Yes, sir. This guy, I've had this guy for almost eight years. I took some of the black off. It was just too much, too black. I didn't like it. So I got rid of some of that look. And then this guy here, I put this little, I put that uh, stud on, but he's coming off. And I'm gonna get to the drill press. I'm gonna put a hole in here and then put my snaggle tooth on. Yeah, and that's about it for today. It's a beautiful day out there today. It's going to be almost 70 over here on Long Island. So I'm going to get my butt outside and do a few things. Anyway, y'all be good now.